This is the Kevin flight at 14 locks on the Kremlin arm of the Momager Canal. The canal was not constructed on one continuous level, so the locks were needed to raise boats from one level to another. Even though today the locks are in disuse, they are still an impressive sight. But what did they look like when they were first built? And how did they work? The locks were grouped into five pairs, one set of three and a single top lock. Each lock had its own set of bottom gates and a top gate. Here we see a boat about to enter a lock at a lower level. Once safely inside, the huge bottom gates were closed using the balance beams that can be seen at the top of the illustration. Next, water was released into the lock from the pound above by using ground paddles and a gate paddle located on the top gate of the lock. In this picture, a boatman is operating a mechanism of a ground paddle with a special key called a windlass. Water gradually filled the chamber and as the water level rose it took the boat with it. The boat continued to rise until the level of water in the lock was exactly the same as the level in the pound. Then with the forces balanced the top gate could be opened and the boat manoeuvred into the upper lock ready to begin its journey to the next level. Mm -hmm.